Hey guys, how you doing? I've been thinking of a video to film while I'm getting this 80 series sorted out and today I've come to the conclusion that I'm going to do a top five in no particular order items to take camping. So we'll start off with one that is a situational item. Um, works when it works well. If it doesn't work well then you're going to be in a little bit of trouble. But it is the Garmin InReach Mini. Now this is what I had with me when I was in the rollover in the 90 series. And this is where I triggered the SOS on. But I couldn't get signal because it was an overcast day. And uh, it took 45 minutes to get signal once I was out of the area and on my way to hospital. So, I'll show you this one. So on here is the, is the Garmin. As you can see, it all connects via a phone app. So, you can operate the unit by the app here. So, got so, so it's all connected, so it's better to deal with the phone app, just because there's a lot more features. So, on the app, you've got a few options here. Might be hard to see. You've got a map at the top, messages, because you can send messages with it. You can do tracking with it, you can set waypoints, you can do a route with it. It's got a built-in compass, your history, your weather, and you can SOS off your phone as well, which I'm not going to do. So, get your messages here. If you've got it set up, you can type a message and send it to someone. Now, with this app, it does require a subscription. So, or with this unit, this Garmin, it requires a subscription service. Um, I think the minimum is 25 a month. And it gives you like 10 messages to send. So, then it goes up from there. Um, and because every message you send, so you want to say a weather report on here, which I might be able to show you. So, if we do a weather report. So you gotta have a you get a premium access to it. And then you want basic weather. Say I was going basic weather. Um, I would request it on here. But because I don't have a current subscription, I'm not gonna be doing that one. So um, I have suspended it until I'm capable to go driving again and out camping. So so that's that one there. That's the Garmin in Reach Mini. For any of these here, I will put down any links in the descriptions for um, connection plans for the Garmin, for example, and maybe some links to, to the items themselves. All right, so next on the list is mapping software. Um, it's good to carry paper maps. I don't actually have any with me at the moment because I lost them in the rollover. But I do also, I do have an Android tablet. So it's a seven inch Android tablet. Uh, with the HEMA maps on it. This is your, your Android tablet. I don't know if we're going to be able to see much because of the reflections here today. Probably not. So, this is something I probably have to show, show at home. Next one is communications. While I do have a UHF in the vehicle, I also have a handheld. Now, unfortunately, I have discovered with this one that I believe it's only a 2 watt. So, and I've had this for years. So, seven, three, yeah, so it's only a two watt UHF. So, this will be upgraded, but for spotting and stuff on the tracks, it's always handy. This one here's got a little uh, little lapel mic you want to do, and a, and a button, so you're not sitting there talking into the mic all the time. So, unit in UH027-NB. It's pretty old, still does a job though, still works, still holds full charge. Comes with a charger and like a wall charger and car charger and stuff. So that's that one there. Cutting tools, cutting implements. So I do have one little pocket knife here. I've had this for quite a while. Just something I like to keep keep around, but I don't really use it. So this is one of my newest purchases. This is my new bush knife. Um, this is a Gerber. LMF2 infantry knife. So I'll show you this one. I haven't actually got to use it yet. Um, so that all went to crap. So this knife is in a sturdy sheath, and she is a she's a beauty. I quite like it. So this one here, show you, quite sharp. We'll go through a few details of this one. So. It does have a serrated edge here for cutting through your wiring. So this was designed for the uh, Air Force in the USA. 
and um, yeah, because that'll be live wiring, it also has an insulated rubber grip handle. It then also has a brake glass brake um, end on the on the knife pommel. That's what they call it, a pommel, I believe. So glass brake pommel on the end. And then if you wanted to, say you're in a survival situation, not that I'm going to try and get myself into one, but you can lash it with these lashing points here onto a stick and use it as a spear. So that's pretty cool. Um, the sheath here comes with a built-in sharpener, which is this part here. You just pull it out, run your knife through it, and that works really well. And that's the full leg strap. So you can strap it to your leg as well, which is pretty cool. So let me strap the knife back in. So this is a USA made one. I'll put a link in the description. Um, there are two types. There's a USA and a Chinese made one. Um, the USA one has a lifetime warranty, I believe. So against any defects. So if it fails, send it back to Gerber and they send you another one. So last but not least, I have this little pack here. So this has some cutlery in it, but also carries some fire starting equipment too. So um, in this little one here, I'll carry a few a few things in here actually. So this is just my little pouch, I guess. So, so I'm gonna go through the most important things, not the paracord. Paracord is handy though, but the most important things in this, this little kit here, is fire starting implements. So always good to have a lighter. It does have gas, just windy. And then I've got a um, ferro rod here. So a little ferro rod. Not that's gonna work for me today because I've got no strength in my arm as of yet. But there you go. So that's a ferro rod. Uh, starting the fire, that'll do the job, um, and yeah, that's it. So, pretty simple and straightforward. Um, they are my top five that I would take with me. So, what's your top five, guys? Um, leave some comments down below. I'd like to hear what you guys like to take out as your top five items for camping. Um, they're mine, obviously, it's more of a uh, you know, you get in trouble when you need to start a fire or you need to baton some wood, make some kindlings to start that fire. This is very my reasoning behind this. Um, you lose power to your vehicle. You've got a radio for contact and you need an SOS. You've got a device there which you can SOS with and they will track you um, eventually when you get signal. So I said that's situational. And then obviously mapping software. You can tell someone where you are. Yeah, I'm here. These are my coordinates. Um, you know, it all comes into a being safe, especially when traveling remote. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I'll put any links in the description box. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to hit like and subscribe on it and share it around, guys. Um, I'm getting up there with my subscriber base now. And yeah, I'd like to produce some more videos. And hopefully I'll be out there camping probably going to be early next year now unfortunately but um yeah take it easy and i'll catch you next time